Okay, getting started cutting. Not cutting. After you shear <coughs> your plates, here's 10 right here. You can stack another 10 or another 20 on top of this. Make sure they're taped real good with duct tape. So when you uh, drill them in your drill press, you know, you can drill your holes good. Okay, the way I get ready to drill my holes is I measure from a, from here in a half an inch. And from this side over a half an inch. From the bottom to here, one inch. From the top to here, one inch. And then from the top again, down three inches. And make my lines. And everywhere my lines cross, I drill my holes. That will be everywhere my holes will be. Okay, then this line right here is where I cut this first plate. And I move it over to the side. Then I cut the next plate at this angle and then move it and then cut the next one this way and move it. I don't just cut them all on one end because I'm not going to flip them back and forth to make them stack like I want them to stack. Which that would be wherever those went. Oh, here they are. Now here's, after they're, these are just, you know, scrap pieces that I use for demoing, like there's the measurement. Okay, they're not all cut on the same side, even though I measured them and everything, how they're supposed to be, and drilled the holes. What I do is I take a, a punch, just a regular nail punch, and I put it right in where the lines cross and I punch it just right each one that way my drill bit doesn't move around like this in my drill press and believe me on stainless steel it does and it will dull your blade real dull your, dr dull your drill real quick and I use a cobalt drill bit and I mark them all with a little indention that way the uh, drill bit will sit right in there and won't wobble okay now, when I was telling you about cutting this angle right here, it is like you cut that angle. Okay, this was the bottom plate. And as you see, the holes all line up. Perfect. Okay. Now, if I take this one, so I cut this one at this angle, then I moved it aside, and I cut this one at this angle. I didn't take the plate and cut them all on one side and then flip one. Because what happens when you flip one, if you cut them all the same side, the holes, as you see the edges on the inside, they don't line up perfectly. You can see the edge of the inside of that one right there. Let's see. And that makes it hard. See the top hole right there in the middle? You see the, the plate behind it. Well that makes it hard to uh, line up your nylon bolts. So it's easier to drill them all don't flip none when you're cutting them. Just cut one on this side, then cut one on this side. And then you end up with this, like this. And then you put your nylon bolts through these holes right here. Then you put a nylon washer on all of them. And then you slide this plate down put slide nylon washers on these again and you keep going through that until you get a stack here 
is what you come up with. This is a stack of 18. But this is brute force. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. My cell I'm building for my unit is going to go positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, all the way through. But with that cell, all my neutral plates are going to look like they're uh, about that much longer and wider than my positive and negatives because I don't want the positive or the neutral jumping around and catching energy on the side. I want it to penetrate the shortest distance which would be straight through the plate at a sixteenth. And in there you can see, I don't know if you can see them or not, all the nylon washers in there. But that's how you get them where they stack straight. And they're not all zigzag and see they're all flush. It's flush straight here and flush straight down here. And one side is positive, the other side is negative. Now if you want to do something small, try try practicing on some small stuff. These are all drilled. I drilled them all together like this. They all line up perfectly. There's a I just got that in there to make it fan like this. I'll cut this one at this angle and I'll move it. Uh, well it'll be unstacked when I cut this one at this angle. And then the next one, this angle, next one. But I'm not going to flip them. Like I said, they won't line up. And when you got one built that small, this is what it looks like. And this is a 12 plate here. And this is, this right here is uh, 3 16 stainless. Okay, I scuffed it up real good. But this right here is 304 stainless. It's got a dull, always has a dull finish to it. And you can get polished 304, but still it's going to get dull like this. And this is also 304. I can get by with 304 at high amps because I use baking soda. And I don't use anything that turns my water to acid. The acid in the water like with KOA is what eats up 304 real quick but baking soda don't I can put this cell right here it was an operation I took it apart cleaned it up and numbered them as I took them apart and uh, it had 2,000 miles on it already so now if it was KOA KOA H or whatever they call it or an or line it would uh, be ate up I'd have to replace the whole cell that's how to to get your centers you know half inch in one inch from the bottom up one inch from the top down and then from the top down three inches that way you have Holes like this, one, two, three, four, and this little dot represents five. That's that one right there. That gives it a little bit more separation there.